Now, before we start today's video, I do have some very exciting news to share with you guys. You might remember my sister's boyfriend, Andrew. He's been in a few videos of mine in the past. Hi y'all, I'm Andrew. Now, it just so happens that Andrew is an amazing chef and this upcoming Saturday, June 25th, he's gonna be hosting a Vietnamese pop-up dinner right here in Portland, Oregon. If you live in Portland or you happen to be in Portland next weekend, June 25th, feel free to swing by, show some support, and grab some amazing tasty bites. Now, I have had the pleasure of sampling the entire menu and let me tell you, it is so good, everything is great. So you definitely will not be disappointed. I'm gonna also be there helping Andrew serve food and serve drinks. So if you wanna come by and say what's up to me, that would be very cool as well. I'm gonna leave a link to the Instagram account in the description box of this video. On the Instagram account, you'll find more details as well as the menu and a way that you could place your order ahead of time. So definitely if you have any interest and you're gonna be in Portland next weekend, feel free to check that out and I hope to see you there. All right, everyone. Hope to see a lot of you there. Can't wait to cook you guys some awesome Vietnamese food. Okay, now on to the video. Well, folks, sadly, my time here in the Sawtooth Wilderness is coming to an end. My parents are actually gonna be visiting me in Oregon next week, so I've gotta get home to take care of a few things before they arrive. That being said, the last few days here in the Sawtooth Mountains have just been out of this world. It's been so, so beautiful, and it honestly is far more amazing than I could have even expected. And there's so much left that I didn't explore, unfortunately, but that just means that I'll have to be back here in the very near future. Today, I'm actually gonna go check out a couple hot springs in the area that this region is also pretty well known for and hopefully while I'm there I could get a little bit of truck camping in. Alrighty, so we just arrived at the parking lot to the hot springs. I tried to go to the other one that's more down the street, but that one was like super filled up. This one, I think you actually have to do a little hike to get there. So in most cases, that's enough to deter the average person, which the other one you just drive up and go in and it was really crowded. So here we are, hopefully it's not too crowded here. There's only one other car in the parking lot. So I don't, I can't imagine that it's gonna be that crowded. I haven't done a hot springs in a really long time. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. Let's go. I had to run back to get bug spray because already Already they were after me. They were landing on me. You would think that by now I would learn. I would just know second nature. My instinct would be bug spray anytime I'm out in the wilderness. But nope, some lessons I would say are learned the hard way, but I've already had the hard lessons. At this point, just not being mindful, I guess. No, that wasn't an excessive amount. Okay, now let's go. I smell sulfur. That's how you know we're getting close. Woo! Easter eggs.
that's like piping hot. Holy cat crap. Woo! That's like really hot. <laughs> Guess that's why it's called hot springs, eh? Check this out, guys. It's like a little old, I don't know what this used to be. It's just this old structure and there's this old bathtub here with the hot water from the hot springs pouring into it. And I guess this is one of the spots that you can soak. I don't know about this one. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it later. It looks questionable. Pretty cool though. Whoa. Warning, severe farmers can alert. Children, shield your eyes. There's a naked person in the other hot spring, so I'm not gonna go down there, especially especially not with the camera, because that would be totally invasive. So I guess I'm just gonna hop in this one, even though it looks a little bit questionable, but whatever. You only live once, right? This isn't much of a hot springs because you're not like totally submerged. I feel like I'm just sitting in a kind of dirty bathtub, which I am. This is a pretty dirty bathtub. <laughs> All right. Well, at least it's fresh water, fresh hot spring water. All right. Well, I'm getting out. All right, this one's a little better. It's kind of a mix of cold and hot water. It's not like fully, fully hot water. But it's better than the, the bathtub one, that's for sure. Oh, okay, that's actually, it's kind of just cold. Not cold, cold, but you gotta find the hot spots. This is like the Instagram girl foot in hot springs pose. Classic. Oh, it's hot. This is definitely one of those hot springs where at times it's just scalding hot because it's the hot spring water just mixing with the cold river water or whatever. So like one minute you're chilling and then all of a sudden you're like, your whole body is like on fire and it feels like you're in a cauldron of boiling water. So you have to like swim over to get some of the cold water or put your arm in the cold water to like thermoregulate. I don't know. Overall, it's pretty nice though. I feel like I can't really film too much here because there's a naked person and when there's a naked person, you don't want to be waving your camera around. People will get the wrong idea, you know? All right, the naked dude officially left. I just didn't want to come over here because it's kind of weird to have like a camera out when someone's, you know, in the nude. But apparently this one, is a lot better, this pool. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that one's nice. Oh shit, it's hot. This one's really hot. All right, maybe we'll go one more down. 
All right, it's a lot of trial and error, but this is definitely, this is the perfect one. Not too hot, but still warm, consistently warm. And there goes some beer into the uh, into the hot spring. Not only is this one much nicer temperature wise, but it's also so much cleaner, the water. The other pool that I was in, there was like all this like super muddy sediment getting all over me. And I kind of just thought that's how these hot springs are. But I went down to this one, it's like way cleaner, which is a definite plus. Oh yeah, this one's nice. This one's, this one's real nice. People over there in the other hot tub are just like staring at me like this whole time they're just been <laughs> looking over at me like what the heck is this guy doing? This lady's literally just <laughs> staring at me, that's funny. I don't know what in the world possessed me to not grab my sandals and wear them because I literally had them in my hands and I was like you know I think it's a little bit of a hike I'm just gonna wear shoes that decision is haunting me now sandals would have been the move so guys out there and and gals if you're going to a hot springs always just wear sandals Well, that ended up being really, really awesome. At first I was like, eh, yeah, it's cool, but I guess I don't really hot, like hot springs, but that's because I was in the bad pool. Once the other dude left and I got the good pool, man, I could stay there for the rest of the night. So, so nice. But alas, alas, we're running out of daylight here. Mosquito. And I would like to get camp situated, start cooking, all that fun stuff. So now it's time to take care of business, but that was cool. Really glad I did that. Now there are a lot of mosquitoes here, so I'm definitely gonna have to remember to not leave the hatch up, unfortunately. Even though I parked in a way where I have this like magnificent view of the river, but if I leave the hatch open, since I don't have bug netting yet, we run the risk of the mosquitoes getting inside. And we don't want that. I've been there, done that. We don't want it to happen again.
another great big bowl of vegetable tofu udon noodles. If you remember from a couple videos ago, I had pretty much the same thing. The sauce was a little bit different. Honestly, since it's my last night out, I didn't want to go get more groceries. So I just, I just whipped up whatever I had left and it looks, it looks pretty good. My noodle dishes are always pretty good. Let's be real. Well guys, no fire tonight because I don't have any firewood, so with that being said, I'm just going to go to bed. And that is a wrap on both this video and the short Idaho series. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the last few videos. I've definitely enjoyed my time here in Idaho and I definitely, definitely will be back in the very near future. Thank you guys like always for watching. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life, beat the status quo, y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, sorry, no coffee today because, well, I kind of slept past my alarm and it's later than I anticipated on leaving. So I gotta get out of here. I got a long drive ahead, so I gotta go. Okay.